do you feel that but well, you've worked a lot of the musicians that you that you work with are also people from the age when everybody was figuring it out themselves would well, that be i've worked correct? with the, i've actually been very fortunate to work with younger musicians yeah. a lot like people in their early 20s and these are kids that have just um, they have they they their understanding of music and their sort of exploration and exposure to music internationally is far and wide yeah. you know when we were kids if somebody brought a cassette back or if somebody had like vhs tapes of top of the pops or something Ooh, like that, that. Such a big it thing. was a big thing <laughs> right but now there's so much access and uh, the, the kind of um, influences that these mm. younger people have is really crazy and you have like 18 year olds that are way ahead of 40 year olds right now so I mean, the, the rate at which they're absorbing all this knowledge mm. and applying mm. it, it's, it's actually quite crazy. So it wouldn't be fair to sort of compare those, the different kinds of music that are on the scene right now. Because How people so? are coming from different eras. Yeah. So sort of older people who are making music, I wouldn't say that we are old, but mm. millennials versus older right. millennial music. Right. But we'll come back to that in a second because we're going to take a break now. 